Hey TAC fans, in this TAC Syndicate video, we'll be going over options to get the ATAC application, the UAS tool plugin, and DTED2 files onto a DJI controller. And it can't be any controller. It specifically has to be the RC Plus for the Matrice 30 and Matrice 300 and 350 series aircraft, or the RC Pro for the Mavic 3 Enterprise only. Any other combination is not gonna work. I don't have experience with the new Matrice 4, which does come with the RC Pro controller, so I can't speak to that. But any other DJI controller that came with the aircraft that has a screen on it running Android, this is not going to work. The inspiration for this came from watching the Skynet drone system video on how to install ATAC and the UAS tool plugin on a DJI controller. This came out last year and it was very well put together. I just wanted to offer a couple more options to what they showed off. Well, if you like the Skynet video, I hope I don't let you down. Mine has some really good content, but I don't have all that fancy video editing stuff like they do. I got to hand it to them. They got some mad skills. All right, let's go. First, let's talk about the files we need and where they live. You have to get the ATAC APK and the UAS tool plugin APK. You can get those from TAC.gov. You get logged in, go to products, and then scroll down to ATAC Civ. And you're going to want to download the ATAC Civ release for 5.4 or whatever version you're using. You can see the different versions here. The next thing we need is the OAS tool plugin. So we're going to go back to products. We go to all plugins. We can go down and search for UIS. And then there's UIS tool. And then download the plugin that matches the version you're using for ATAC. I also want to cover while you're on the UIS tool plugin page all these great resources. You've got this video here from Mike Lecklider from the Tax Syndicate. And look, there's also the video from Skynet Drones. You have the manuals and a bunch of other videos and resources. Now we're going to move on to the DTED files. DTED stands for Digital Terrain Elevation Data. The DTED Level 2 files can be found in a variety of places. You can even make your own if you want with the USGS Earth Explorer account. I noticed that I couldn't find any files for Hawaii, so I followed this instructional for Marshall Frith on how to do it. Worked out great. CivTac.org has a huge collection of DTED files. The easiest way to find it is go to the magnifier, type in files, hit search, scroll down, hit more, and then you can see the DTED is here. You can get the whole United States as a whole DTED file, which is pretty large, or you can get it by state. I'll open it up here and you can see how many megabytes I are per state. This is where I noticed, hey, there's no Hawaii, and I followed Marshall's guide on how to get the Hawaii DTED level to data. And I have that here on my Google Drive. It's at maps.taxserver.us, and you can see that I have the Hawaii data here. So now we've covered how to get the ATAC APK, how to get the UIS tool APK, and where to get the DTED files. Now let's cover all the options to get it on the controller. On the Skynet drones video, they were using the micro SD card slot. This is a great option. The next option that is closer to that is to use a USB-C thumb drive or a USB-A thumb drive into a USB-C to USB-A adapter like this. Essentially, you would follow the same guide they have in the Skynet drone video, but just use a thumb drive. The next option I'm going to cover is using a web browser. The DJI controllers come with Firefox, so this opens up some opportunities for downloading directly to the controller over the internet. Let's open up Firefox, and we'll go over option one. That's going to be just logging into TAC.gov and grabbing the APKs for ATAC and the UIS tool. Then going over to CivTAC.org and getting the DTED files. The third option is using Google Drive. So I'm signed into my Google account right now. And what I've done is on my laptop, I downloaded the DTED 
and the ATAC APKs, made a folder on my Google Drive, and uploaded them. Now that I've signed into my Google account, I can simply put in drive.google.com and this will browse my files. I made the folder called TACUAS. Let me put this in list mode and now you can see I have both APKs in the DTIP file. If I wanted to download these, I would just click on it and then click download. This will download the file onto my device and then I would install it. We'll close out of here. The last option I'm going to cover is using a file transfer application from your computer to your DJI controller. When I'm using my Mac, I like to use OpenMPT. It allows file transfer from the Mac OS onto the Android application running on your DJI controller. You can just browse directories and drag files around. So right now I'm going to open it up and drag over DTED, ATAC, and UAS tool. All right, I've got Open MPT fired up. On the left is the files on my computer, my Mac. On the right is the DJI Android controller. So I need to get those APKs and the DTED files moved over. I like to move them over here into the downloads folder on the DJI controller. And on the left, I got a couple ways I can do this. I can go to my documents, I can go to this UAS tool folder I have made and I could just drag this over and just like most file transfer pop-ups you get a progress bar here and it's transferred over. Other options I have are just to go to finder opened up this and I can also just drag stuff over. So if you don't want to go on the left here and go through all the hassle of trying to find that folder, you can just use um, the finder as well. So right now, it's transferring over the DTED file. Now I just need to move over UIS tool. And then once this is transferred over, we'll go back to the DJI controller and install ATAC, install the plugin, and import the DTIT file. All right, we're back on the DJI controller. We're going to open up my files. We're going to browse to download folder. And there is the ATAC APK, the UIS tool APK, and the DTIT files. We're going to click on ATAC. We're going to install it. Click open. And just like if you've ever installed ATAC before, it's going to go through all the other um, permissions. And we're going to click done. I have another video on importing um, preference files and getting onboarded onto ATAC. I'm not going to cover that now. Just going to get uh, ATAC and UAS tool and DTED fired up. All right, so we're going to close this. We're going to go back to my files and we're going to install UAS tool. All right, UAS tool is installed. We're going to open up ATAC back up. And we're going to click OK. And we need to get the DGI5 installed. So we're going to click on here and say install. Get allow from this source and install ATAC OV5. You can hit open. Um, Allow all the permissions. And now we'll return to UAS tool. Click OK. All right, everything's loaded up. We can go to our plugins here.
and see that we have UIS tool loaded and it's current. Next thing we need to do is import the DTED files. We're going to click the overflow menu. We're going to go to import local SD. Go to download. Click the DTED. We're going to click move zip DTED directory. Now we want to make sure that we have the DTED loaded. Quickest way to do that, go ahead and lock on yourself and zoom in to where you have the DTED loaded. I have it loaded for California. So the easiest way to find out is grab the red X tool and just click on an area. And if it says DTED2, like in the upper right, you know that it's loaded. So we're good to go. So that's it. You have ATAC, UAS tool, and DTED2 loaded for this region. We're ready to connect to our DJI aircraft and fly. Thanks for watching.